One of the wonderful things about Evander for spectators is that he is no great defensive fighter. He does get hit. So, for that matter, does Bo. Good left hook to the body by Evander Holyfield. And the left hook to the jaw. And Holyfield is quicker to the punch early in the fight. Again, Holyfield scores with the left-right combination. Bo answers with one punch in return. And Holyfield again, getting the best of a center ring exchange. Now Bo lands the right hand for the first time in the fight. Both fighters getting off now in the latter stages of round number one. And maybe that fight, Larry Merchant, is about to break up. Holyfield has already warmed up, doing exactly what he wants. And Bo has an uncertain look on his face at the end of round one. Holyfield has been in a lot of wars. Some people say too many. Verdict Bo just stay in instructions, use his jab, occasionally throw a right hand to make him know that's not all I've got. Stay away from the exchanges. It was the right hand fight. lead again, George. He's landing that right hand lead. Is Holyfield the champion? Not only that, that left hook to the body, which hurts. Holyfield has got one of the best left hooks to the body I've ever tasted. So far, this has been a display of accurate, quick punching inside in combinations by the champion Evander Holyfield. And already, Bo begins to hold and hit, and they brawl in the center of the ring. Evander Holyfield showing his warrior's heart, believes he has Bo hurt. Bo throwing the right hand on the break. Joe Cortez says keep him up, the both fighters. Bo is taking no hostages. He's decided, look, if I'm going to win this thing, I've got to take it. The referee is not going to help me. The judges are not going to help me. Right hand over the top by Bo landed. Holyfield got an uppercut in. And the left hook for Holyfield. And the left hook for Bo. Both fighters landing consistently. Bo landed the jab, missed the right. Holyfield steps inside and gets in two good ones. Bo's got Evander Holyfield reaching in for his jab, which is what he wants. Bo trying to measure Holyfield from afar. Evander trying to step up inside and stay inside Bo's power. I think Evander just doesn't know exactly what to do right now. He's catching a lot of shots he wasn't told he would be able to he's catch fighting the wrong fight, George. Oh, no fight. doubt about it. Why should he bump into this big guy and go slugging with him? Why should he? There's the uppercut again by Bo. Left hook by Holyfield. Missed the second one. Lands the right uppercut. Body punch by Holyfield. And a good one. I think those left hooks to the body by Evander Holyfield may be the most telling blows in the whole fight. Left hooks by Bo. Two of them. Holyfield coming back, taking and giving shots. Bo tried to go to the body with the right hand, just missed. We can tell you that both fighters have went beyond their corners now. They're no longer taking instructions. They're doing what comes naturally. They're doing what comes naturally. Good right hand by Riddick Bo. Bo has answered some questions early in this fight. He is showing a real willingness for combat. I say Bo re-established that left jab. What does he need to be throwing right hand? Long left right hook hand by Holyfield almost caught Bo flush. As it was, it did a little damage, but not as much as it might have appeared to be the case. Holyfield landing inside. Bo comes right back. A slugging war between the 205-pound Holyfield and the 235-pound Riddick Bo. It ought to be hurting, and then once that happens, it's going to be a big deal. Left hook landed by Bo after a right. Holyfield seemingly in trouble for the moment. No doubt about it, but he's a storm weatherer. Champion rests his head on Bo's shoulder and stays right there. Holyfield jabbing, trying to get back inside with the jab. It appears to me that there's blood around Holyfield's right eye. Let's look more carefully. There's the left hook by Holyfield. And another, and another, and another. Holyfield wobbles Bo onto the ropes. A series of left hooks. All of them landed flush. Let's go, come on. Right hand by Holyfield. But Evander is still landing that right hand lead. Riddick Bo lands the right hand. 
Holyfield falls in, falling right foot after another. He's not keeping his position at all. Left hook inside by Holyfield. Bo's punches are having more effect. Bo goes to the body, and Holyfield covers up. You never want to follow a puncher. Never. You want the puncher following you. Evander Holyfield giving Riddick Bo every chance to whack him out of there. Too much danger, it seems to me, in the The first round. holding behind the head by Riddick Bo. And there's the left hook again by Holyfield. Lou Duba has prepared referee Joe Cortez to watch Bo holding behind the head. Low blow, not called by Cortez at first, and now he does. In round number four, both fighters landed more than half of their punches. But Bo threw more than twice as many. 77 shots for Bo, only 36 for Holyfield. There's a left and a right by Holyfield and a left. Bo giving the right hand in return. Left hand by Holyfield. These are solid shots, but the champion does not seem able to hurt Riddick Bo. Holyfield is playing right into the hand. He's leaning forward, falling over Riddick Bow with his head, trying to just lean on the guy. You don't do that. You get one foot in the other and move around and side to side. And Bow trying to capitalize with the uppercut. And Holyfield comes back with the right hand lead, which has been so effective for him. <laughs> Both fighters showing their personality. As round six comes to a close, we are halfway home. Jabs through round six. Bo has thrown 110 of them and landed 55. Holyfield has landed less than half of his jab. I think we can say this much for Riddick Bo, guys, is that whatever message that Holyfield was trying to send early in the fight, uh, Riddick Bo took the message and came back with his own message. And midway through this fight, he's still in it, so has a very good chance of winning it. Bo lands the right hand over the top. Evander just freezes and looks at him and then comes he right. He was hurt. Again. Bo didn't realize that he was hurt. And now Evander is reeling as Bo lands the left hook and goes to the body to try to set up the finish. Holyfield peering through the swelling right eye, seemingly having trouble picking up Bo's punches now. Holyfield is probably one of the greater champions of all time. In terms of his will and heart. Probably. Not in terms of his punching power, George. Not at all. He's a good fighter, and he's showing that he's a good fighter now. Bo, if he stays in control with this jab, can just do whatever he oh, wants to do. Punch up, guys. Fuck him up. For the moment, it looks more and more like an uphill fight for the champion. Riddick Bo beginning to box again, and with a lot of advantages. And every shot he bends the Holyfield throws now is a shot of desperation. Doesn't like the blood, okay, it's never happened to him constantly three, like three. this. He's thinking maybe I've done something wrong in life. I know what it's all about. Good left hook. Holyfield with another left hook. The champion showing his courage, pawing at his left eye to feel the blood and then raging out with a left hook. Both coming back with right hands. Sees an opportunity to perhaps finish things off. Energy levels going back up in round number eight. The Bulls got to realize every punch that Evander throws at this point, they are desperate shots. Stay out of the way of them, you could get yourself hurt. And you saw Bo pawing his right eye. Yeah, he's got his vision impaired just for a bit. I think he might have gotten thumbed there for a second. And there he is pawing the right eye again. Let's see if Holyfield tries to take advantage of that opportunity. He does, and takes a right hand in return. Trading right hand. Again, it was Bose, which appeared to be more effective. Right uppercut by Holyfield, momentarily stuns Bo. Low blow by Bo. Cortez pushes them away. Round 10 begins. If they complete this round, Riddick Bo will have gone just as far as he's ever gone before in a professional prize fight. Riddick Riddick Bo is able to land three good combinations now. Evander Holyfield can have his first visit to the campus. He's been a gentleman all this time. He can't understand someone being so dirty. So you see Holyfield going down in this round, and Bo stuns him with an uppercut. And just like that, the champion struggles to stay on his feet. What a heart by Holyfield. He's going to stay on his feet. He's hanging in there. Gets away from a right hand, blocks another one. Bo throwing and throwing, now goes to the body. Holyfield somehow standing up, but 
staying referee, too close referee. to the referee. Joe Cortez watching. Champion gets the benefit of the doubt. That was a right uppercut that started that sequence. Now Boy has got to start all over again. And don't Holy try to feel weathers the storm and comes back throwing. If Bo starts over all over again, he can do it all over again. Let's see if he has the patience. Get him out, get him out. Get him out, get him out. Evander Holyfield's incredible powers of recovery once again on display. Don't oh. rest. Rest with your jab. Bo should be taking that kind of advice. Look at Holyfield. What a warrior. Reversing the tide of the battle. The champion now has Bo wobbly. And he lands the right hand. Everybody in the Thomas and Mack Center on their feet. It doesn't bother Bo because he knows he was only resting at that point. Evander Holyfield has got a heart. If, if he Wait weighs 205, his heart weighs about 204. This is an amazing show, guys. I don't think he can win the fight at this rate. But just to have recovered from that beating is astonishing, I think, to most of us at ringside. If he can, Bo goes right back to the left jab, start all over, forget he's knocked this guy almost out. Go back to the left jab, start everything off. It can all happen again. This round should be greeted with a standing ovation at the end. You've seen the best of both men. A right hand by Holyfield. And another. Round 10 continues after the bell. Neither fighter totally exhausted yet. trouble now. The bow has got to be cool oh, trying to finish him though. There's the uppercut again. The mouthpiece is out of Holyfield's mouth and he's going to go down. And Holyfield gets up very early in the count. Six, seven, eight. Second time in his career he's been knocked down. First time he has actually gone to the canvas. It could be all over for Evander Holyfield's heavyweight championship reign. He is not fighting back and seems to have no will to do so. To get out of this round would seem like a miracle. You must know people don't pay you millions of dollars for nothing. Once the tide gets tough, you got to fight anyway. When it turns against you, keep fighting. Right hand lead by Holyfield brought his supporters in the crowd out of their seats again. But Holyfield is spent, it seems now. His handlers call him the best conditioned athlete in the world he'll have to be to make it out of this. This is a prime example of managing and training too many fighters at one time. You get into the corner and you just don't know what instruction to give what guy. Holyfield still punching, still throwing the left hook inside and the right hand lead. But, all right, all right, let him out, Uppercut by Holyfield. Blood spouting from the champion's mouth. His eyes almost completely shut. But he will not take KO for an answer in round number 11. Evander Holyfield groomed himself through his cruiserweight career to ultimately gain the weight and the musculature necessary to compete for the heavyweight championship of the world. He thought through all of the years he would have to fight and beat Mike Tyson to get it. In the end, it didn't happen that way. And the public has consistently penalized this man for not having won the championship from Tyson, but rather from an overweight, out of shape Buster Douglas. Tonight, he wanted to prove his legitimacy. And if nothing else, he has proven what we already knew about him. Extraordinary courage, spectacular heart and will. What he hasn't had is the muscle and the size to compete with Riddick Bowe. I can tell you one thing, that terminology of the St. Bernard and the Junkyard Dogs, they belong to me. Larry stole them from me. <laughs> I gave it to them. Not the first great idea that we've stolen from you, George, and it won't be the last. Don't hold ahead, don't hold ahead. I was only teasing, kind of. From the back of the arena now, they begin to rise and applaud what has been an extraordinary battle between two men 
of heart and will and courage and skill. Jampa scores about 115 to 112. Jerry Roth scores at 117 to 110. Ready. Big Daddy Bow! The man hugging Bow in front of him is manager Rock Newman.